Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are reviewing the Wet n Wild Fire and Ice collection. This collection did have a little bit of controversy when it first launched because some retailer ended up actually releasing this, putting it out on the shelves before the collection was like even announced. I don't know if Wet n Wild ever addressed it. I think it was just kind of like, if we don't say anything about it, like people aren't gonna like go out and look for it. Now, everything in this collection does retail, I believe for $8 and under, which is amazing. So you have the highlighters on the ice side as well as two liquid lipsticks, a palette and two pigments and then you have the bronzers on the fire side again with two liquid lipsticks a palette and then you have these two pigments as well but hopefully if you guys have not seen my zodiac collection these do perform better than the zodiac collection now I'm sure you can tell from the blue and the icy hair that we are gonna dive into the ice collection mostly because this highlighter right here this highlighter is called winter falls in LA I am just like I'm in it for this but I will go ahead and also swatch the fire collection so you you guys can see what that looks like as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get started on this review slash tutorial if you guys like this video go ahead and hit like right down below subscribe to my channel and then comment down below if you guys are purchasing this or if you guys purchased it and let's go ahead and get right on into this tutorial so first things first let's go ahead and swatch the liquid lipsticks now the fire collection does come with two liquid lipsticks this red one here is called redlings and it is a deep red metallic the packaging on these guys is absolutely sickening I don't know if you guys can see the top here but the lid actually does have a clear top to it and I really really think that that is a awesome detail that wet n wild put into this just because this has probably been sitting so you never know if like the pigments not shaken up all the way so I always like to give it a fair shot. This does have a doe foot applicator and let's go ahead and swatch her. But it is definitely pretty and when you kind of build it up, it does blend better and is not as patchy. But this color, guys, I really, really like that. And then this color, again, is called Redlings. The next liquid lipstick that the Fire Collection has is called Queen's Blood and it is a deep bronze toned orange. Again, a doe foot applicator. Let's go ahead and swatch her that is stunning like it's almost like a warm toned bronze with like a little bit of orange it's very very fiery as well as the two fire liquid lipsticks the collection also includes two ice and the liquid lipstick on the ice does have the icicles but if you look very closely between the icicles, I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but the lid on this is actually clear as well, and I really like that. And then it does have a blue foiled accent, and then this color is called Shall We Slay, and it is a gray toned metallic. This one is swatching just a little bit patchy, but with these, I've noticed that if you kind of just work them a little bit, you do get a color payoff. And that is that one, the shall we slay and then it did also come with a blue liquid lipstick the same packaging with the blue metallic oil oh that one is really pretty and this is a deep navy blue metallic liquid lipstick they're all very very stunning in the tube they are a little bit more metallic than what swatched on my hand but you do with liquid lipsticks that are metallic sometimes have to let them dry down and then if you rub them you do get the metallic showing through just slightly more the red is definitely out of all of them a little bit more consistent but i do have blue liquid lipsticks that are patchy like that and i think it's just hard sometimes with the pigmentation to get it right along with the four liquid lipsticks that are part of the collection the collection also includes four different pigments now each pigment again goes with each side you have a gold one part of the fire collection and this one is called gilded crown you have a blue one which is part of the ice collection and this one is called Two Night Blue, and night is spelled like nights at the round table. You have a red one that is also part of the fire collection. This one's called Fire Rain, and it's spelled like rain, like queen and king rain. And then you have a very pretty pearl white silver pigment, and this one is called Ice Ice Lady. I'll go ahead and swatch all four of them. The white one went on like a freaking dream it is so smooth the gold is really really pretty but it's definitely not as intense the two colored pigments do swatch a little bit like chunkier than the 
two silver and gold metallic -y ones, but both very, very pretty. Along with the liquid lipsticks and the four pigments, the collection also includes two eyeshadow palettes. And each pan, it is stamped what each shade should be and where it should be on your eye. That is the Fire eyeshadow palette. Now this red up here is a lot more rusty than the pigment. The pigment is a lot more magenta tone, but I really, really like that red. Like that red is going to be the bomb.com in the fall. And then the ice collection, let me wipe off my fingers. And then you have the ice palette here, 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 and here. That blue though is absolutely stunning and it is super, super pigmented. Now in the pan, the actual blue shade is very metallic. It does have like a, almost like a glitter spray over. You don't really see the glitter too too much when you actually swatch it but sometimes with those shades you almost have to put it on your lid in order to actually see what it looks like so we'll see I am gonna be using the ice collection as you can tell and then the absolute stars of the show I think are going to be the face powders so you do have two highlighters that come with the ice side so let's go ahead and swatch them. Both of these are absolutely a dream to swatch. The blue one is a blue with a purple icy pearly shift. And then the white one is a white with a blue shift. Both very, very pretty. This almost is picking up a little bit like a seafoam green um, on my hand, but it is very pretty. By your side, you do have two bronzers. You have one that is definitely a lot a lot warmer so we'll swatch her and I'm excited to use these bronzers because these bronzers look amazing so that is the first bronzer swatch and that is the second bronzer swatch and you can tell a lot more warm than this one I think we're gonna start off with a cool tone one but if it's not dark enough we'll go ahead and warm it up with the warm tone block. Comment down below and let me know if you guys are interested in actually purchasing this collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. I don't know, I am usually want to do all warm tones. I should mix it up and do a icy look because I don't do icy looks ever. So we're gonna start off with the eyes and the first one that I'm gonna go into is the blue pigment. And again, this one is called Tonight's Blue. So I'm going to take a wet and wild crease brush. I'm a little nervous. We're just gonna start off kind of slow. I'm gonna go into a fluffier brush and I'm actually gonna dip into the transition shade that's in the palette. And I'm just gonna kind of blend the edges of this pigment, kind of windshield wiper motions back and forth just because I do not want that blue to get muddy at all. However, it is blending quite nicely. Even though it's breaking up slightly, it's still blending together, which is what I want it to do. And then I'm gonna go back into that Wet n Wild brush and I'm just gonna kind of stamp that blue back on. Look how blue that is. That's really pretty. And I know it's like breaking the rules because I'm putting a metallic in my crease, but whatever. I'm just having fun here anyways. I really like that a lot. Like compared to the Zodiac palette, holy crap, I have so much fallout. That is not cute. I'm actually gonna dip into the crease shade right here, which is that deep blue. And I'm going to use that on my outer corner just because it is a little bit more navy toned. What I think I'm actually going to do instead is take the white pigment I am not mad at that. So on the bottom, I think I want to start off with the transition shade and we'll smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with a smaller pencil brush and I'm gonna take the crease shade, pack that on the outer edge and the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take that pigment and stamp it in the middle, almost like a halo eye on my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to take the transition shade brush and just kind of lightly buff everything together. I'm going to take a smaller 
packing brush. And then I'm going to dip into the blue highlighter since I'm not going to be using this on my cheeks. I'm going to take it on this little brush and I'm going to apply it to my inner corner. And then I'm going to take just a little, little bit, lightly apply that to my brow bone, just lightly. And this almost has like an iridescent shift to it, which is really, really stunning. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is finish up this eye here. I'm going to add a wing as well as some lashes, and then we will test out the highlighter and the bronzer in just a moment. Well, for you. For me, it'll probably be like 20 minutes, so I'll be right back. I just feel like with some big lashes, it just always makes everything just feel so much better better. And then on my lower lashes, I did do the L'Oreal Voluminous in actually this is shade, there's no shade on here, but it is the Cobalt Blue. And I did put that where the lighter color was and then I did go in with the Voluminous uh, Lash Paradise on the outside and inside. And then I am wearing the Lily Lashes Miami for my big old lash. Anyways, I cannot say enough good things about this look. To me, does not look like wet and wild. Like this doesn't look like drugstore. This looks like some high-end makeup. Like it blended so well. Like it just looks snatched. Like it looks so good. Compared to what I dealt with with the Zodiac palette, this is 10 out of 10. So much freaking better. Let's go ahead and bronze up our face. So where did I... We're going to start off with this color right here to bronze up the skin. This is your Dragon Me Down. There is definitely quite a bit of pigment getting picked up. That actually looks really good. Why does that look so good? Like it just like melts. Look at that. Like snatched, not snatched. Look how that looks so good. I do have a lot of texture on my forehead. Wet and wild, please. Don't discontinue this. This is great. I said some bad things about wet and wild. I did. I said some bad things. This, this is, I'm a, I am a whole new woman right now. These are going right in my vanity, right where I can reach them because those are amazing. All right, let's go with a highlighting brush and we are gonna, well, as I drop it, we're gonna dip into the white highlighter and this is, like there's a lot of pigment that comes off. Okay, ooh, I'm mentally preparing myself because you know this is gonna be a lot. You see how it's kind of picking up a little green? Like compared to like my brow bone highlight, it's a little bit more like purple iridescent, but this is picking up a little bit more like green toned, which I'm not mad about, it's pretty. And then last, but definitely not least, I'm going to go ahead and apply Shall We Slay, which was the gray toned liquid lipstick. And then what I think I wanna do is take just a little bit of that highlighter. My final thoughts on the collection. Eyeshadow palettes, amazing. Highlighters are clearly blinding. The pigments are clearly pigmented. The bronzer was actually my favorite part of the entire collection. That bronzer is amazing. However, the liquid lipsticks, I think are good. I, I really do, I really like them. I think they're cohesive. I think the packaging like literally slays my existence, but it's a liquid lipstick. I think that they did a good job like capturing it, but you can definitely see that some of my lip is showing through on this gray color. I think maybe like with the lip toppers that they included, it would have been really nice, but I just applied the highlighter on top just to kind of give it that extra like boom in your face. This is like a pretty like sickening look. I think this look turned out so good. Like I really feel like icy. I think that it really is like Elsa but grown up. Like your wall is coming down beach like glam about it you know. I just think that like when you have good makeup like you're more inclined to feel creative with it. But this is really good guys. Like I 
really really like this collection definitely 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 would recommend hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys are planning on purchasing this collection comment down below what you guys want to either see me do next or review next if you guys want to see a fire tutorial with the fire side of this collection as well let me know down below i love you guys so so much and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys